Hey everybody, this is Mickey's Kitchen. I'm back and it's almost the end of the week and it's February 24th, 2022 and it's a Thursday. Yay! And tomorrow's Friday and the weekend again. The last weekend of February. But anyway, I'm back and I'm ready to go. This is a simple meal. I prepared it. But first of all, let me say something, a few words, and then I can show you what the meal is today. But anyway, let me scoot up to you and let me explain to you. Like I said, February 24th, 2022, it is Thursday. Next week, I'll prepare a really good meal. I just haven't had time this week, but I squeezed this one in for you to let you know what kind of meal it is today. And next week, it'll be a, a wonderful meal to make. So keep watching. But anyway, before I start with this, this crazy meal today, I would like to explain a few words to you. First of all, last video that I had, I got cut off by the blackout, so I had to make two videos, part one, part two. But it cut out the other pair, the other uh, video that I mentioned about the judges. But first of all, the last video that I made, it like I said, it just cut out. But I'm back. But to give you a brief, what is going on in June this year, 2022? In June, first of all, I will be having a cook, cooking contest. Like I said, like I said before, there are going to be two sisters against each sister, the power sister, and they are Haley and Melissa. So they're going against each other. So they're preparing their meal for within two months, and then they're going to get back to me so I could show them the way how to do it and set it up and everything but there's more details in april but anyway Haley and missy melissa is the sisters going to be cooking against each other and the judges will be pat and tony because i picked them because they're so honest with each other and they're going to be judging the taste and the prepare of the plate, how it looks like. But the taste has to be good. But they don't know who whose plate it is. They're going to taste it, see if they like it, if there's a taste, and how they prepared it on the plate. And it will be judged by those two men. But anyway, I can't wait in two months. Mickey's Kitchen will be in fire, baby. It'll be in fire, but I'm I'm working at it little by little and try to squeeze in more videos before that big, wonderful cooking contest in June. But anyway, I just want to thank you for the two subscribers that subscribed to me. And I think one is in Solvang. And I appreciated you coming in my videos to subscribe, and you did comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But anyway, I want to get back with this, and I enjoy doing this, like I said. And this meal will be real quick, because I already prepared, because it was kind of hard for me. But anyway, it's called... Tornado Wipeout Hot Dogs. Woo! Simple as candy. But anyway, I had to go get hot dogs and, and Russian potatoes. So this is Russian potatoes I prepared. So it was hard. Then you're going to need your sticks. I have so many, so I like to show more videos of what I do with my sticks. But they're bamboo sticks, and you can cook with it, like Chinese. You get that in the store. 
But anyway, I prepared this and I can't wait to show you. But anyway, already prepared the mix. I had to do this and, and see how it came out. It came out okay. Just have to taste it. But anyway, this is how it lo looks. The creamy mix. Now, you get your hot dogs either. I got uh, Oscar Mayer hot dogs and I got smoke hot dogs. Tony loves those. But anyway, you prepare two cups of flour, salt and pepper, and paprika and garlic powder, and you could use the garlic salt. And then I put in Cheyenne. Cheyenne, baby. But anyway, that's all you need. And then you need one can of beer. All in that bowl with your season. One can of beer. That's what I use. And I mixed it. Like I said, it's all mixed. Now, you take your stick, put your hot dog on it, and then you get your Russian potatoes. Now, I'm going to show you. You get your Russian potatoes real quick. I'll show you one because I already did them. You, you wash them, and then you stick the bamboo in like this all the way in, and then you slice it while it's on the stick. Slice it. Turn it, slice it, slice it like a, a spring. And you do that. And then after you get you take it off, then you slide your hot dog in. Then you slide your potato in like a spring and wrap the air wrap the hot dog over. And I'm gonna show you that right now. It's so easy. But I had to learn it how to do it, so they just take it by step by step. Uh, this is how it looks like, and I made them. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Like I said, you take your hot dog, just like that, and spring it around your mix, and you fry it. You deep fry it in oil, and that's how it looks like. The hot dog's in there with your baked potato and the coating. But isn't that scrumptious? We're gonna try it, it's something new, but you could even try it. The, the, the smoked sausage and the Oscar Mayer hot dogs. And you just use that. I know you use the beer, but the beer helps the mix. Believe me. I don't want to get too drunk. But anyway, that's that's done. And I just want to show you because it was hard for me. It took me an hour. But right with it, we're going to have potato tots with it. And so that's going to be scrumptious too. We're going to have potatoes. I made potato tots. So it'll go with right with the Tornado Wipeout Hot Dogs. So, it was a wipeout because the coating with the beer, it fizzes up, but it's still good. You just mix, and then you dip the stick on the dog with the baked potato that's all sliced, all wrapped around the hot dog, and you dip it in the mix, and then you dip it in the fryer. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Now, I made potato tots. I fried them up. And like I said, with this, you use just like that. And look at that. Isn't that scrumptious? It's so crunchy. So crunchy. And the hot dog's in there. The hot dog's in there. With your baked potato. It's better because you don't have, it's, it's not a hot dog on a bun because you got all that bread and it's fattening. So you make this, it'll come out even better. 
But if you don't like it, just put your hot dog on a bun. But it's a lot of bread. And this has flavor. It has beer in it. But not as much. And it has your season and the Russian potato. So all in one. But that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I made today. Something simple. And like I said, I'm going to have a big, big meal for you next week. And time's ticking, so we're going into March, and I can't wait. But anyway, I want to thank everybody. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your remarks, and thank you, sub subscriber in Solvec. I appreciate it. Your comment, and everybody's comment, and Kathleen's comment here in the valley. But it's a nice day. The wind stopped. No clouds. But it's still cold. We're in a cold weather. But anyway, I'll try to get back next week. And thank you so much for your comments and subscriber. There's going to be more videos because there's more to come. And I can't wait. And I hope everybody's healthy and safe and stay in tune with my videos because more is coming. And I'm glad you're here with me. And I appreciate it. I love you all. And remember, in June, it's going to be a whopper. Missy, Missy, Miss, Melissa and Haley going against. Pat and Tony, the judges. It's going to be a whopper. It's going to be a mess, but it's going to be exciting. So prepare yourself. Anyway. I'll get back next week. Stay in tune. I love you all. And subscribe and comment because I'm here for you. God bless you.